Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we're going to do the detailed review of the new device from Realme in India, the Realme 2 Pro. So Realme 2 Pro is a successor of the hugely popular Realme 1 which was announced a few months back. Then the company launched the Realme 2 uh, which is a budget offering. Now we have the Realme 2 Pro which is a really good uh, device in the price segment and this comes with really powerful hardware as well. So in this video, we'll talk about uh, the details about the device and we'll also see how good the device is. So first step, let's have a look at the design and build quality. So design wise, you can see that uh, the Realme 2 Pro looks like a really good device in terms of the design aspect. You can see that it has the water drop display or the dew drop uh, notch and uh, it has a minimalistic notch and uh, the display bezels are also uh, lower. And uh, in terms of the design aspect, you can see that the power key is on the right side and uh, the left side houses uh, the uh, SIM tray and we have uh, also the volume rocker keys. The top panel does not have any openings or slots. The bottom panel has the uh, micro USB charging slot, the speaker unit and the 3.5 mm audio jack and turning to the back panel this is the interesting part of the device because it is having a glossy finish and this is a high quality polycarbonate material used and this actually feels really nice because it gives it a glass finish altogether uh, even though it's not really glass it is polycarbonate material and looks really good you can see the dual camera setup we have the LED flash and the fingerprint scanner and the realme branding being a glossy finish it does attract a lot of fingerprints but definitely it's one of the good looking smartphones in this price segment with the glossy finish so design and build quality is definitely good even though it's not a metal construction realme has taken care of the build quality and it feels really nice so in terms of design and build quality the realme 2 pro is definitely one of the good looking smartphones out there now moving on to the display now looking at the display you can see that uh, the water drop notch is the highlight of the device uh, uh, and you can see that the screen space is really utilized and it's a pretty small and notch and just the camera unit alone and it uh, looks really good and the display quality is actually one of the best we have seen in this price segment. You can see that the brighter uh, display panel looks really good, the auto visibility is really great and the viewing angles are also excellent. So overall the display quality is easily one of the best we have seen in this price segment and you could see that uh, uh, overall color quality and touch response also feels nice now the uh, the display also comes with the gorilla glass support there is scoring gorilla glass 3 support on this device so overall the display quality looks pretty good on this device so that's the display aspect now moving on to the software so the device comes with uh, the color OS which is a custom OS uh, from uh, Realme or rather Oppo and uh, we have uh, the latest version of Android you can see this is the Android 8.1 audio out of the box and uh, we have uh, uh, the color OS version 5.2 and this is powered by the Snapdragon 660 Octaco chipset. Now talking about uh, the software you can see that it offers plethora of options and uh, modes to choose if you go to the smart and convenient mode you can see it offers uh, option to customize navigation keys, assistive ball is there smart sidebar gesture and motion smart driving are some of the useful features included apart from that there is also uh, dual app support you can see there is option to clone apps there is app split screen game mode is included and a few other options are included with the ui so it is uh, a ui which is having a lot of customization options and if you're a person who loves customization without doubt the color OS uh, uh, gives a lot of options now talking about the performance, so this device is powered by the Snapdragon 660 Octa-Core chipset which is clocked around uh, 2 GHz and it has uh, 4, 6 and 8 GB RAM variants. So right now we have the 4 GB RAM with us and uh, during our testing, almost like 2 weeks of testing, we found the performance to be really good, uh, no major issues here, no lagginess and it was really snappy to all the tasks it was put to. The only area where uh, the color OS needs to improve a bit is the uh, memory management where we feel some of the apps were uh, reloaded in the memory and that uh, could be fixed via software updates. But otherwise it's a really good performing UI and uh, does the job pretty well. Now coming to the gaming experience, so uh, we uh, played a uh, heavy graphic rich games uh, on this device and found the gaming performance to be pretty good. Uh, it is a solid performer in terms of the gaming with a 4, 6 and 8 GB RAM. You don't really uh, have any issues uh, on this device and uh, definitely you can play uh, high graphic rich games or rather PUBG mobile in HD mode uh, and uh, in high uh, graphic rate or frame rate. So that's the advantage of having the Snapdragon 660 chipset. Now the storage variants are 64 GB storage and and 128 gigs storage offered and you also get the option to expand the storage via micro sd card expansion slot 
Now the phone comes with dual SIM cards for GLT and there is dual voltage support included on the device. Now the call quality and overall performance looks pretty good. We did not have any sort of issues and the speaker performance is also pretty good. We have also done a detailed video on the FAQs. You can also check out that video to get an idea about how good the performance aspect is. Now moving on to the security options, the fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So we have done a demo of the face unlock and found the face unlock to be really fast and you can see that it unlocks the device in really good time. Now talking about the fingerprint scanner performance, you can see that uh, the fingerprint scanner is also really fast uh, and unlocks the device uh, pretty quickly. Now moving on to the cameras. So this device comes with a dual camera setup. We have a uh, 16 megapixel primary camera with f 1.7 aperture and a secondary 2 megapixel camera for depth sensing. And we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera with f 2.0 aperture. Now talking about the camera quality. So we have done a detailed camera review of this device. I found the camera to be really good. The de details are pretty good. The sharpness levels are impressive for a phone in this price segment. The color quality is most part good. At times it does oversaturate and boost the colors but uh, not a major concern though. Overall the clarity of the photos taken with the rear camera looks pretty good. And with f 1.8 aperture the low light performance was also pretty good and the noise levels are uh, uh, contained and almost uh, good details even in the low light conditions. So that's the camera aspect of the Realme 2 Pro. Now the video recording is at 4K and 1080p resolution with EIS support and the video quality was also pretty good. Now the phone also comes with 16 megapixel selfie camera which is pretty good and uh, you can take some really good selfies uh, even in low light with the 16 megapixel shooter. So that was the camera aspect so overall uh, the camera won't disappoint uh, most of the users. So that's the camera aspect of the Realme 2 Pro. Now talking about the battery life. It has a 3500 mAh capacity battery but unfortunately there is no fast charging supported on this device. Now uh, talking about the battery performance, so uh, the battery performance was pretty good and we could get almost uh, slightly more than a day with uh, moderate usage on this device which is kind of a good performance for a 3500 capacity battery. Unfortunately uh, ColorOS does not allow us to measure the screen on time so we are not really sure about how much the screen on time could be but still uh, we would say the battery performance was quite good. So that is the detailed review of the Realme 2 Pro. Now coming to the pricing, uh, three variants are available, 13999 is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the least variant which is, comes with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. Then we have 15990 for uh, the 6GB RAM and 64GB uh, storage and 8GB RAM and 120 gigs of storage is offered at 17990 That's pretty impressive pricing for the Realme 2 Pro. So looking at uh, the, uh, the uh, device as a whole, we'll just list out the pros and cons. The pros include uh, good design and build quality, good uh, display and the display color are really vibrant and viewing angles are really good the software is kind of okay no major issues the performance is really good the gaming experience is pretty good and also the cameras are kind of good and the battery life is quite uh, decent now the cons include no uh, usb type c port uh, offered at this price segment and also uh, there is no fast charging supported on this device otherwise it's a pretty good overall package uh, and uh, realme 2 pro definitely is a really worthy value for money package at a uh, 13 triple nine with the snapdragon 660 chipset and you also get uh, 8 gigabyte ram and 120 gigs of storage offered at uh, just 17.990 so overall the realme 2 pro is a good package uh, at this price segment so that is a detailed review of the realme 2 pro so realme 2 pro will also be going uh, uh, on sale on the flipkart's uh, uh, big billion uh, day sale uh, and around 10 percent discount is being offered on the realme 2 pro all the variants and there is also other devices like the realme c1 and the realme 2 also coming with the discount so these are the two other smartphones uh, from the company which are in the budget segment so that's all guys with the detailed review hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day